Good evening. My name is Tanya Sermon. So what the heck is social innovation? We've heard a couple suggestions. New ideas for a better world. <clears throat> a systems change that alters the way that we do things. Solutions that put people and planet first. A wind in the sails of the new economy. The answer is yes to all and much more. But herein lies the problem. Systems change, as we've heard, is super complex, and as a result, inaccessible to most. And we really do need everyone to be a part of the solution. So what do we do? Our work at the Center for Social Innovation has been focused on trying to solve that challenge, and we think that we might have one small little contribution to help find that answer. Salad. I know. Salad. We actually think that salad might be a part of the solution, and specifically, salad club. I know, I'm up here and you're thinking, she should be saying something way smarter than this. But the truth is that we think that we've got a particularly in a little insight uh, from the power of salad. At CSI, every week in every location, we perform a ritual called Salad Club. Salad Club is the perfect embodiment of the work that we do and how we create the conditions for social innovation. How do you do it? And you can do it too. Number one, you invite anyone to bring two items from their fridge to contribute to a salad bar. You meet in the kitchen on a given day at a given time and you start preparing food together. And then three, you eat, you share, and you talk together. What do you get? A revolution that starts in the kitchen, a potluck with potency, and edibles with impact. More specifically, what you get is people getting out of their seats, away from their computers, and talking, and eating with people that they may not usually talk with. Wow, I actually lost my place. <laughs> so where did it all begin? In 2004, a small group of us began a social experiment to better understand how to create the conditions for social innovation emergence. We know that social innovation requires new ideas and thinking, that it has to start with how we think about the very space that these ideas emerge from. As one of the first co-working spaces in the world, we have been trying to redefine work to evolve new models of collaboration. We were exploring how to get people to really work together. We wanted to break down silos and even thought that we might be able to fuel a movement for change if we could get people to start working across difference. What we have learned provides some important insight into the potential of community to transform our systems. Here's our theory. If we're able to build a culture of innovation, one that will be able to fuel a sustained flow of systemic changes capable of positive social impact, we need to build intentional ecosystems for these ideas to flourish in. Through our little experiment, we've learned that you need to do three things to make social innovation happen. One, you need to create the space. Two, you need to animate the community. And three, you need to create the conditions for emergence. By create the space, I'm referring to a beautiful container designed for collision, whether that is a building, a salad bar, or convening people together into a single place and moment, like tonight. Number two, we need to animate the community, and by that I'm referring to the artful facilitation of people, fostering of connections, reducing the friction, and enhancing social capital, trust, and belonging that compose the loose connections of a community. By create the conditions for emergence, I'm referring to the ideas, the collaborations, and solutions that happen at the intersection between challenges, people, and ideas all of which are putting the sails, uh, the wind in the sails of social innovation. So how does this relate to Salad Club? We create the space by inv inviting people to come together in a kitchen with the intention of preparing and eating together, co-creation in action. We animate the community by guiding a conversation with the intention of social impact, sharing our day, our challenges, and our solutions with each other. We create the conditions for emergence by ensuring that it is permeable, intersecting and curious. We create a culture that is creative, scrappy, risk-taking, and solutions-oriented, built on hope and possibility. With all these juicy little outcomes, all from an emptying your fridge, 
Conversations start, people learn, banter, exchange, connections are made, co-founders are found, projects and solutions are fostered. But most importantly, trust is built. This is community, social capital, where innovation emerges in and amongst the needs, opportunities, self-interests, and intentionalities of people who are working on real issues for a better world. Almost 13 years later, it's working. We are now home to over 1,000 organizations. 86% of our members have collaborated with one another and 71% have done business with one another. We operate and support six purpose-built spaces in 192,000 square feet. We created the community bond and raised $3.6 million to buy two buildings with the power of 300 citizens and some absolutely leading edge foundations. We now have a charity to advance social innovation. Our community generates over $250 million in revenue annually. And our community creates over 250 new jobs a year. Our members tell us that they have shared ideas with one another and that these collaborations have led to real outcomes. Like Jane's Walk being dreamt up at CSI Spadina and now scaling globally. Like the first climate change law practice emerging when two lawyers reconnected in the space. Like Mark from Building Up offering extra capacity of the people he was training to help Luke from the Stopgap Foundation to build ramps to make our city more accessible. Like climate solutions, social finance, community health, city planning, meaningful employment and so much more, CSI's members are changing our communities each and every day. So what does this mean to you and what does this mean for the world? To transport these ideas, this learning, to the rest of the world, we're going to need to leap forward and to take even bigger risks. It means we need to create spaces capable of tackling the biggest challenges we face. What if our cities were designed for innovation? Our living rooms, our parks, our malls? What would innovation look like then? It means we need to animate community by growing larger communities with facilitators capable of facing difference head on and meet it with patience, authenticity, and love. It means we need to create the conditions for emergence by bringing powerful intention to how we support the social change process. We will need to build healthy cultures in all workplaces built on belonging, authenticity, and meaning. I believe that how we connect and what kind of culture we create will be a key determinant in building new ideas, products, and new systems. To get there, we need a new culture that fosters the world that we want, an innovative, inclusive culture that puts people and planet first. And like, and like Salad Club, it will include everyone.